Hi guys, Lady Random here and welcome back to Regrowth. Okay, so we were talking in the previous episode, we were trying to make our staff, um, we had our kind of infusion stuff happen and yeah, it was a little bit unstable. Um, we probably didn't get this as balanced as we could have done. However, we got that done. Um, we then obviously had to make our Thormium wand caps um, and get those charged. So I've been doing a little bit of work in between the last episode and the previous. So I've made everything that we need. I've also cleared a space out for our second project. And as I said, you know, moved a few, uh, few bits and pieces around to clear some space for it. So in this chest here, we have some of the... Um, some of the essence of shards that we clearly didn't put away when uh, we had a bit of an explosion. But we've got three charged Thormium wand caps. So I was busy making balanced shards and um, Salismundus uh, in order to make those. And we need our Thormium wand, which is now in here. And we can pop that into this. So we have our three wand caps, we have our primal charm, and we have our silverwood rod. And that uses ooh, quite a chunk, quite a chunk of RV to do that. But that gives us our Thumbie embossed silverwood scepter, which has a capacity of 150. So it's actually much greater than the, uh, than the wand we're currently using. So if we have a look at that, we can't put... Um, we can't put uh, foci onto this, but it obviously holds a lot more V than we need. It's kind of cool, actually. It's got the uh, the runes. You can probably just see it sort of spinning around there. That's quite funky. So we need to obviously get that filled up. And we may need to actually fill our other wand. I'll grab this one out just in case. But that is our scepter. And that should complete your quest for us, possibly. Uh, what are we on? The way the world feels. Staves and scepters. Oh, so we need to make a silverwood staff core. First of all. Okay. Let's have a quick look at our Thormonomicon. So that's probably not what we wanted to do. We probably need to have all the bits to start with but let's double check double check this so bone staff core bone wand core reed staff core quartz staff core icy obsidian ah okay but that kind of didn't work we kind of made a crafting scepter we didn't make the core that's not a huge issue so we need to purchase it so we're needing more more aspects okay that's fine do you know what we'll come back to that i'm not overly worried let's move on to the next thing that we wanted to do which was uh making our alchemical boiler and somewhere in here uh there it is we've got a research that we've done for our alchemical boiler so let's consume that Ooh. and that means that we can now go ahead and make that and that is i believe where did i find that it was lurking lurking somewhere i wasn't expecting it to be and i kind of came across it Where were you? Somewhere in alchemy? I was looking for something else, which was the uh, the amusing part, and then I found it. Because I've been hunting for this for absolutely ages. And I hadn't been able to find it. Where are you? Anyway, it doesn't really matter. We've been able to do it. We've been able to get our research. So, we've got to make the alchemical boiler. 
hoping that we have enough uh, V to be able to do this. If we don't, it's not a problem. We'll just have to go out and uh, get that. Let's pop that in there. One alchemical boiler, which is cool. Now, we also need the Alembics, um, as we had in this. So, meltdown, that gives us 100% of our alchemical boiler. The next thing we need to do is make a crucible of souls Ooh. so the other possible source of essential you've discovered is that of the living you think this could be achieved with a piece of thormic eso esoterica known as the crucible of souls which unlike the alchemical furnace and boiler doesn't distill objects into essential but rather directly siphons it off the soul of the creature essential can be retrieved from it through the use of essential tubes be warned though it may occasionally produce a modic modicum of flux okay well why don't we actually get this set up first of all our chemical boiler so gather together the bits that we need and the v filters and this is the thing to make the alembics so three of those and then one two three one two three one two three three and three v filters there buckets there there we go three of those so i've put a space down here um i don't think we need to have anything below it i think again yeah you put a fuel into there and then we just shift and place oops not like that might need ourselves a block to stand on uh can we do it on a shift a shift jump i wonder yeah we can so that's the boiler and then i think i've got a stock of essential tubes yeah a few essential tubes there um so we'll just have one coming out that side, one coming out that side, uh, one there, one there, we'll pull this one over to there, and that hopefully should give us what we need in order to be able to do things. So in the same way we would put a liquid into here and some coal and then that will give us the essential that would distill out into the olympics which is pretty neat so thormonomicon so we need to find this uh uh now where are we not in artemis it's thormic esoterica oh this could have been where i found the um the thingy what's it Is this where I found it? No, I think it all kind of all kind of links in. So we need thought replicator, no, infusion, no, essential distillation. Don't think it has has that. Have we even been able to unlock unlock this? doesn't look like it let's have another read so crucible of souls why don't we try and do a search if we can uh, cru crucible of souls No, doesn't seem to be in here, does it? And can't see it in witching gadgets either. Hmm. Yes, mm, indeed. Let's have one more quick look. 
around here. Okay, well that's fine. So, we're in obviously some need of uh, scanning a few more things to get the um, the essentia that we need or the aspects that we need in order to make uh, the silverwood staff core. So that's okay. We could go off and do some scanning stuff. Um, but yeah, I think we will uh, have a go with this. Let's have a go with this. Now, have we got any fluids, I wonder? Let's have a look and see if we've got any buckets of anything. I know we've got a bucket of biodiesel. Um, we can do... I think we can see when you look at stuff, actually, when you're wearing your... If it's got... Uh, have I got my goggles are revealing on? No, I do need my uh, thermometer. Let's grab that out of here. Let's see if we can scan this. There we go. That gives us something. It's something new we've made anyway. Awesome. I don't think we've, we've scanned that already. There we go. Right, let's go and have a go and have a look and see if any fluids that we have. If we've got any buckets of anything. We've got a bucket of biodiesel. I'm not expecting that's not going to have anything. Um, but I wonder about buckets of buckets of lava, buckets of water, tanks of anything. Or oh, we could have a look at our tanks, couldn't we? So let's get a bucket of water. We'll just throw that on the ground. So yeah, that's got that's got some aspects to it. Uh, do we have a bucket of lava? Got an empty bucket there. Let's fill you up. So imagine again that's going to have. Oh look, we didn't even scan that. Ah, <gasps> good to know. And we're going to scan our tanks quickly as well. I'm not expecting mariculture stuff is going to have anything in there that will be of any use to us. So fuel buckets don't. Let's have a look in the mariculture. Well, they do. That's interesting to know. very interesting to know so actually where we have got all those tanks of fish oil that we kind of inadvertently created <laughs> we can make some use of this I'm going to take a couple of tanks of that let's do a quick quick scan of these or is it just the tanks let's have a look let's throw these out as well hmm, I don't know whether there's some liquid in them why don't we give it a go why don't we give it a go I think I've got another bucket in here um Let's just very quickly just empty that into there, just so we've got an empty bucket. Oh, we haven't scanned this, have we? All these machines that we haven't we haven't scanned. Awesome. have a quick look at these and just make sure let's go and have a look around here because do you know what we've got stuff around here that we haven't probably scanned awesome if 
forget all about these things, don't you? Cool. Forgot about those. Uh, do we even scan this thing? Oop. Yes, we did. And we scan both of those. So we've got creosote. I wonder whether a creosote bucket. So that doesn't have anything. Okay. Well, that's given us something that we don't actually need. Let's just stick that into there for a moment. And we might have to make ourselves a quick bucket. Just so we can see if the uh, fish oil has got anything. But it's not a problem because we've got plenty of iron. But let's chuck this in. Uh, I think we've got... into there grab uh, coal. pop a little bit of coal into there and that gives you aqua that gives you two that's, that's okay for a bucket I suppose Lava bucket. Is that cooking? Do we just click it in in the same way? So that's given us Terra and Ignis. And give us four and three of those. So this is the test, really, isn't it? Is does fish oil actually go in? Fish oil does not. Uh, oh no, it does. It looks like you can't do anything with it. Yeah, this equal cannot be broken down into a centre. Okay, so can we... We can retrieve that out of there. Okay, that's good to know. That uh, you can take stuff back out. So water will give us aqua. Lava is going to give us terra and ignis. So we're going to need to probably work out other fluids. What other fluids are there? this is going to be the interesting part isn't it is um you know actually what fluids do we have other than water um that we're going to be able to put through that so it's a shame we can't use the fish oil but uh yeah we'll have to have a think about think about fluids but effectively that is that is how it works um, so I'm wondering whether, you know, like molten metals and things like that, we'll be able to put molten metals through this. Um, that's always going to be an option. But it's just another way that we can get, we can get essential. But we need to find this, this crucible. What was it called? The crucible of souls. I think that was the thing, wasn't it? Crucible of Souls. And at the moment, so it's Thormic Exploration. How on earth do we make this then? So it might be, you know, like I said, we've got to uh, unlock a few things 
uh, through here because we've not we've not got anything. We've got this thing. We've got a Thormic replicator, which is like equivalent equivalent exchange stuff. But we don't have. So we've got a soul soul brazier. And this is in Thormic Esoterica. So that is theoretically where it should be. Um, but it's not unlocked. So I don't know whether we need to do something uh, somewhere to actually unlock unlock those things. This looks kind of interesting though. Couldn't exchange stuff. That could be quite fun to, uh, quite fun to have a play with. But it's obviously not part of the quest stuff that we're doing. So... Uh, I don't think we've unlocked enough uh, to be able to do this. Oh, no, we can. There we go. Research completed for the Silverwood 1 course. So we can now make that. Let's have a look at the... So, wand core... Uh, is it going to show it on here? So is that going to complete this for us? Have we got any quests? No, I'm trying to remember where it is now. So how do how do we make this then? There we go. Silverwood one core, so it's two silverwood rods. Uh, so we'll need to make silverwood rods again. And we need another primal charm. So, okay, well that's fine. We can get that. We can get that done. So we can actually get that quest completed, I think, probably in the next episode. So, there we go. We've made a wand that we kind of jumped the gun a little bit. Made it anyway, which is cool. Um, we need to make the cores and we'll, we'll make the wand core for that. And then we can um, complete that quest, which will be cool. And we've got our, uh, our chemical boiler sorted as well, which is another thing that will uh, help us with the quest. But we need to get this crucible of soul sorted. So I need to do a little bit of research into how we how we find that and how we find out how to make it but for now guys thank you all very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one take care <laughs>